Let's look at inclusion map, identity map and cardinality equivalent sets. So let's take it one by one. Uh, let's look, look at inclusion map if A is a subset of B in a function from A to find by F of A is equal to A for all A belonging to set is called the inclusion map. So what does this mean? It basically means that inclusion map is another way of saying that every element in A is also an element of B. Now let's look at an example. Let's say we have a set A is equal to minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1 and 2. And we have a set B which is minus 4. We could make it as a you know infinite set also by putting dot 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 minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0. 1, 2, and so on. Okay. So we have these two set, uh, sets. Now, f of 0 is equal to 0. f of 1 is equal to 1. f of 2 is equal to 2. f of minus 1 equal to minus 1. f of uh, minus 2 is equal to minus 2. Yes. Now, here, because these are the things that is given to us, we can say that this is an inclusion map. Why? Because A is a subset of clearly make up. That A is a subset of B. And F of A is equal to A is part of B. Or A is included in B. B. So now I think you got the idea of inclusion map. Now let's look at identity map. Now what's identity map? Let A be any set and the function from A to A in inclusion map because A to B. Here it is A to A be defined by f of A is equal to A for all A belonging to set that is each element of A is mapped itself. Such a map is called identity map or a identity function on A. This is denoted by I A. So, I A is equal to A of A is equal to A for all A belonging to this is the short way of writing this entire paragraph. Now, if you look at it from a matrix point of view, you will notice that you will notice that I A of 1 is 1. That means it exists so I write 1. I A of 2 is 2. Ia of 3 is 3. So I write just that mapping exists. Rest all will be zeros. So this would be a matrix representation of the identity function. If it is a 3 by 3, if the set contains 3 elements. Okay. Now, let's look at the cardinality equivalent sets. Now again, if function from A to B is a 1 to 1 and on to 1 to 1, remember an element of A is mapped to 
one element of so it is one to one and on to means what in set b there is no free element after this one to one then the sets a and b are said to be cardinally equivalent sets we can write this as a is equivalent to set b now in case of a equivalent to set of natural numbers n a is set a is set to be denumerable set now what does denumerable mean De denumerable means that the set elements of set a can be counted corresponding to the natural number so for natural number 1 there is a corresponding element in a for 2 there is one for 3 there is one for 4 there is one so this denumerable set okay uh, so be clear about inclusion map identity map and cardinally equivalent sets means basically both the sets have same number of uh, elements now this is also called equinumerous meaning equal number of elements that's it